Oh my god, that little bitch. Okay, sorry, T. Fuck you. Ah. <laughs> this is so good. It's so hard to do this damn reaction. Big Brother begins now. Tom, Nick, congratulations on making it to part three of the final HOH. One of you will be the final HOH of the season and will have a very important decision to make. This is part three of the HOH competition called Jury, Question and Answer. <laughs> That's basically it. You're going to have to guess what uh, jury members have said in their exit interviews. There's a compilation of statements. Your left hand will represent A. Your right hand will represent B. Um, and then I'll read off a series of questions. You have to guess which statement the, that the jury member had said. Good luck, everybody. Question one. Kyle S. Watching veteran players play, I learned A, it's probably better to play really boring and safe, or B, it'll probably be a while before I win an org. What did Kyle S. say? Your answers are submitted and final. The correct answer is... I realize it's probably better to play really boring and safe. A. It's probably better to play really boring and safe. You both answered it correctly. You both receive a point. Hands down, reset your podium. Next question. Mateus. My favorite moment this game was... A. Surviving fast forward week, or B, Jamila going home? I need an answer. You both submitted your answers. You're both locked in. The correct answer. I think Jamila going home was the best moment. Is B, Jamila going home? You both answered it incorrectly. Neither of you receive a point. Question number three. Simon. My biggest regret this season was A, spending so much time on call with Mateus and Matthew, or B, nominating Brandon. I need an answer. All right. You both submitted your answers, both logged in. The correct answer is I regret spending so much time on call with Mateus and Matthew. A, spending so much time on call with Mateus and Matthew. You both received the correct answer. You both receive a point. Question four. Matthew. My closest ally during the week of my eviction was A, Kyle S, or B, Simon. An answer. Both of your answers are in. Both of your answers are locked in. The correct answer. Did you feel like Kyle S was your closest ally? I, I honestly, like after Jamila was evicted, yeah. Is A, Kyle S. Nick, you receive a point. Tom, you got it incorrect. Question five. Kyle H. My biggest regret in the Big Brother Basics house was A, sobbing through my eviction, or B, being as honest as I was. Both submitted your answer. The correct answer is... I regret being as honest as I was. B, being as honest as I was. You both answered it correctly. You both receive a point. Question six, Jamila. The biggest backstabber in the house was A, Matthew or Mateus, or B, everyone. They're all backstabbers. Backstabber. 
Your answers are locked in. Your answers are final. The correct answer. Who's the biggest backstabber in the house? Uh, I would say Matthew or Mateus. Is A, Mateus or Matthew? Tom, you got it correct. Nick, you got it incorrect, which means you both have a tie and we're going into a tiebreaker question. The answer will be a number. The person that is closest to the number without going over will be the final head of household. Without rounding up, how many hours have you been in the Big Brother Basics house? Uh. House guests, please reveal your answers. All right. I fuck. I and the, the correct answer is 1414, which means congratulations, Tom. You won part three of the final head of household competition. Let's check in with the house guests now. House guests. Hello, Julie. Hi, Julie. Hello, hello. Thank you so much. Uh, congratulations, Tom, on winning the final HOH of the season. You have a very important task in front of you. You must decide who will be the last juror as well as who you will be sitting next to in the end. But before you make your decision, we're going to allow both Brandon and Nick to say their final pleas on why they should be sitting next to you. And we'll start with Brandon. Well, I will say to Tom, um, like I said last time, Tom has played a very good game for himself, and I know that he'll make the best decision of who to, to choose. I hope that you choose me. We've worked close together in this game, and I would love to go to the finals with you. So vote for Brandon to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Brandon. We'll now move on to Nick. Um, congratulations. Um, to be honest, Either whichever decision you make, I have a feeling you're probably going to take home the, the winning prize. Um, but I do think you should pick me just because I feel like um, you and Brandon played somewhat similar, or you took similar paths to get here, whereas I took kind of a different path. And I think that it would be basically just for fun. You should just take me because it would be more interesting. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nick. Without further ado, Tom, please face the house guests and announce your decision. All right, so um, obviously I love both of you guys, and I'm glad I got to play the game with you. Uh, I just have to make the decision that I think is uh, smarter here, and unfortunately, uh, Nick, I have to vote to evict you. Um, you played a great game. Thank you, and it's been fun, and I'm glad I made it to final day, so I'll see you in a bit. With that, uh, Nick, it's official. You have been evicted from the Big Brother Basics house. Please leave. What? <laughs> and with that, we have our final two. Tom and Brandon, who would have thought? Not me. <laughs> hello, hello, Nick. Welcome to the real world. Please set your bags over there. Have a seat. Hey. How's it going? What are your initial thoughts? You made it so far into the game. I'm bummed because I think that I <laughs> I messed up on that Jamila question. That was I really should have got that one right. So it's my own fault for being here and good for Tom, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, at least I I mean at least I made it to the final day, so I'm happy. I'm proud of myself. That's awesome. And you just found out in the tiebreaker question, you were in the Big Brother Basics house for 14, 14 hours. Yeah. How does it feel to finally be out? Um, it's a relief. <laughs> um, it was a really, really, really fun, but it was also um, time consuming and I lost I lost sleep over it so I'm, I'm actually glad it's over um, even though I wish it had ended differently oh wow so you actually lost sleep over this game which means you played it very very hard I, I like to think so <laughs> I mean you were in a power position at the start of the game you were head of household um, you kind of didn't really have the formal connections, but that position that puts you in a power position to start making some moves and stuff. And here you are at final three. You have to be really proud of yourself. Um, what was one of your favorite moments in the game? 
my favorite moment was, well, I have two. So first one is when I won HOH in Fast Forward Week, but it didn't end up how I wanted to. So my second favorite moment is when I voted to evict Mateus. <laughs> so yeah, you and Mateus's rivalry storyline was definitely one of the biggest elements of this season. Uh, it was very entertaining to watch. But what happened? What went sour? Because you were both the first two head of households of the seasons, and it just seems like y'all didn't click. I think we're both bitter people, honestly. Like, I mean, I, I, I kept him safe week one. He was a person I made like a deal with. But then after the whole Chris and I thing blew up, he nominated us both. And I was just never going to forgive him forever for the entire game. Um, that happened week two, and I never got over it. So um, it's actually a good thing because our, rival our rivalry helped both of us stay in the game longer. People wanted to keep us for that reason. So I'm actually really glad that, that, it, that it happened. Let's talk about Chris a little bit. You and Chris both applied for Big Brother Basics. Um, and to be honest, production didn't really know about it, about y'all's previous relationship, kind of kept that under the rug. But man, it played a, kind of a big storyline inside this game as well. You found yourself on the block immediately after your head of household reign. Was it more of a help or hindrance playing this game with Chris? Um, I think it, at first it was help, but I think in the, if, he had, if we had both survived week two, I think it would have become a hindrance. So it's actually was probably for the best for me that he was that he left that early. Um, it sucks because it was really fun to play with him, but it was short lived. Um, but ultimately, I think I did better as an individual than I could have as a pair. And how often did you and Chris talk about the game? Because kind of in your diary rooms, you would make it seem like, oh, maybe I'm help. Maybe Chris will will be more close with me. Maybe he's not. When in actuality, y'all are best buds. So how and often did y'all actually talk in the game? In my, HOH, my first HOH, I put him on my short list of people to nominate, but I definitely was never going to do that. <laughs> We're close. I mean, we don't physically live close together, but um, we. T I text. I mean, I'm texting him like right now. I'm like, oops, I just fucked up. Like, sorry. Um, but um, yeah, we're pretty close, but it's probably for the best, like I said, because it, it's anno it's like I would have been annoyed if I was like, someone who and I found out two people knew each other and tried to keep it secret. Like, I don't blame people for going after us for that reason. So um, it, it makes sense. You made it really far in the game. Final three. Definitely a contender uh, to win the whole thing. Who is the biggest threat to your game? Um, well, I mean... I mean, I think Tom, I have to say Tom now, but I mean, Mateus would have gotten rid of me any chance he got. So once he was gone, then it was Tom because everyone I think knew that Tom was going to, I mean, I can't say for sure. You never know what's going to happen, but I think he has a very, very strong chance. And if I had one, I would have evicted him as well. So Brandon was pretty much guaranteed final two tonight. That's very awesome. Uh, any last remarks before we get into the jury? portion of the game um i just want to say um to suck up to you it was really actually really fun you did a really great job so and this is probably one of the most fun orgs um although like i said i lost sleep over it so i need to take a break but it was really really fun you did a great job well great thank you so much for playing it was definitely a pleasure hosting you um and now we'll enter the jury house where you will all have a discussion and then crown a winner of the season Can't wait thank you Hey guys, what's going on? It's so nice to see y'all. Oh my god, totally. Yeah. Group hug. Word, group hug, yes. <laughs> so, um, who do you guys oh think? Oh my god, that's in one place. <laughs> <laughs> who do you guys think is going to be like, evicted and walking through that door right now? For sure not Brandon, we all know why. <laughs> Fingers I... crossed for Brandon. I'm pretty sure that he's locked in, but... I hope it's Nick. Nick never I hope it's not Nick. Once. Yeah, I hope it's not Nick. I hope they all come to the door. They're all ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew wants it to be Nick. <laughs> I want it to be Tom, personally, because that fucker backstabbed me the final week I was there. I'm so bummed. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, Nick! No, boo boo! No! What happened? <laughs> and now we have Thank you. Thank you, Kyle, for being so upset. Anything but that! <laughs> I'm so fucking mad. I really was rooting for you so hard. You fucked up, Nick. How did you fuck it up? Yeah, you fucked it up, bitch. What did you do? I know, I messed up. I was ahead by one point, and then I caused a tie because I got the last question wrong because I thought it was too obvious. Let's talk about Tom. I think that 
one of his biggest strengths was that he was really cute and had a beard, and so it was really hard to say no to him. I think for both of them, they're good looking, and that got them far. <laughs> I think so too. Like, I really wanted to touch Brandon's bald head and just like hold it down <laughs> in my crotch, you know? I have no opinion on this. Tom won a bunch of HOHs. How many did he win, you guys? Like a hundred. He won like he won a ton, and he won like a million vetoes. I thought he only won. Yeah, he won a lot of vetoes. Yeah, every time he was HOH, he like won the veto that week as Didn't well. Did Brandon win like two HOHs? No. Uh, Brandon oh, only won one. Did you play this game? Are you watching yeah, our game? Just yeah, kidding, sorry. Fuck you, Nick. <laughs> I told Nick. I told Nick we gotta go after Tom and Brandon. This is our time. He's like, I'm scared. We have to keep their trust. I know. I was an idiot. That was um, really, like, you guys were too scared it. the whole time. <laughs> I'll give them both that as a pro. Well, I thought. Them the whole I really thought of Michael Hughes, but I guess like pros of Tom is that like you know he won a lot of competitions and like obviously you know he was a power player of some sorts against everyone here. But I mean like we all kind of suck, so that's not much of like a huge power player thing. And I guess, like, Brandon, the only thing he was good at was recording conversations and being a little rat. <laughs> but yeah. the both of them, they both suck. They both suck. Like, I, I just don't see any of them being a legitimate winner. The only thing they did was outlast us. And, yeah. I mean, Let's all of us were kind of shitty. So, I mean, comp wins, yeah, sure, that was, like, cool, whatever. But, I mean, we got out, the like, the comp threats left early on, and I was like, Jamila... And then Kyle was our, our only hope, but then, yeah. See what happens if you fucking did by getting evicted, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I will say a pro for both of them is they played very, like, under-the-radar games, and they had alliances with everyone, but that never counted against them. Like, people just... They were able to, like, spin it every time. Like, I even tried to backdoor Brandon, and he wiggled out of it. Yeah, it was bullshit. Neither of them... Had an alliance with me, so. But I think, like, that's also for me, like, a con. Like, I feel like both of them played, like, way too safe all the time, which, I mean, I can't so say Like, I would rather vote for someone who, who made it interesting and, like, did shit, but they played very similar games in that they were always just trying to be friendly with everyone, and they made no enemies, which is great. It got them to the final two, but at the same time, it's like, I want to pick someone who was more fun, and neither they of them... Really enemies. I hate Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> <the game. laughs> oh my god! But yeah. by the time they made you an enemy, you were walking out the door. That's the difference. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. I know. What was the most exciting thing that each of them did? Do you think? Um, nothing. Brandon, no, absolutely. Brandon using the veto absolutely was. I yeah, was yeah, so that was pretty <laughs> explosive. I was like, yeah. fuck that. All the exciting so people in this game are right here. What did Tom do, do that was exciting then? If Brandon used the veto, Tom would use. He never used the veto he when he won. He never used it. Well, no, he okay, used it the no, one time. But he did shoot cool. his beard. That was pretty exciting. Brandon may have won only one competition, but at least he used it to do something interesting, which was to save Matthews. Whereas whenever Tom won, he kind of did the thing that everyone knew he was going to do. Like we, all his moves were That's very predictable. True. But then, do you think Brandon didn't win a lot because he didn't have to because Tom was winning? Yeah, yeah, he definitely let Tom carry him so, at the end. Yeah. yeah. And he was pretty much guaranteed final two because Tom and I were both going to take out each other. Yeah, at that point, there was no way either of you would take each other to the end. Yeah, yeah why would you? Yeah. Yeah, what do you think about this, Matisse? You seem kind of quiet, boo boo. Well, I was with them both as aliens, so I'm happy they make final two. Mm. Like, I did so many bad things, like. Burning bridges and fuck you all over everyone here. That at last I did something like get Jamelia, get Simon, and get Matthew out, and they was like behind me. But it all cost of my game, not of them. So I'm here, uh -huh, and I'm happy. <laughs> oh my god! So I'm you so... did the dirty work for them then? I yeah. know, and I'm not regret. Yeah, they like hired you as a hitman. You took all those bitches out. <laughs> yeah, you took them out, and then you know they didn't do anything to help you. That was a great game. And then I had to take you out. I'm sorry, boo boo. <laughs> no problem. No hard feelings. Like, I should have. I should have went for Someone has to drag me down. 
Welcome, Tom, Brandon, to the final two. We are now entering the jury questioning aspect of this game. One by one, the jury members will be answering this Google Hangout, and they will ask a question directed at either of you. We'll go ahead and get started with your opening statements first, and we'll start with Tom. All right. Um, first of all, I want to say thanks to production and to the players in this game, because I had a really good time playing, and uh, honestly, you guys made me so happy that I signed up. Um, but uh, obviously I'm sitting in front of you guys today and I'm hoping that you're considering voting for me because I feel like I played a really well-rounded game in terms of uh, competitions, strategy, and the social game. And uh, just to explain that a little bit further, um, in competitions, obviously, I did win three HOHs and three vetoes. Um, I know that... Uh, Competitions aren't everything in Big Brother. Uh, there's definitely more to the game than just that, but winning those competitions did allow me to kind of push an agenda somewhat and keep my allies safe, uh, so I do think they should be taken into consideration. And um, also, uh, a lot of the times when people win a lot of competitions, it turns into this big target, but um, I, didn't, I was the last person who was nominated in the game, and I didn't receive any eviction votes for the entirety of the game, so I feel like kind of my competition game was supported by my social game and my strategic game. Uh, socially, I really tried to just be kind of a positive force and somebody who people wanted to keep around. Um, I tried to be really non-confrontational because I think it's a bad idea to burn bridges when you don't have to in Big Brother, so I really uh, just wanted to make sure that um, you guys would see me as somebody who's fun, who's uh, open to potentially working with you, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much was my main goal for the social game. And uh, strategically, um, I do want to be clear. I don't think I played, like, the flashiest game ever. Uh, I didn't make, like, these huge blind sides or back doors. But I do think I played a really effective game. Uh, I really tried to focus on, you know, maximizing my security each round and trying to look a few rounds in advance and uh, kind of consider the impacts of any decisions that I made down the line. Um, and I feel like I did a, a pretty good job of that because like, I think it mostly culminated at the final five round when um, it was Brandon and Nick, and then there was also Kyle, sorry, Brandon and Mateus, and then there was Kyle and Nick, and I felt like I kind of managed to get myself into an almost unevictable position that round. So... I don't know, I just feel like I played a well-balanced game, I played my heart out, and I hope that you guys are considering uh, voting for me, but even if you're not, I totally understand, and I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say to us, and what else you have to ask us. So, um, yeah, uh, that's about it. Thank Bye. you very much, Tom. Uh, now we'll now go on with Brandon. He is so perfect, okay? I'm, <laughs> I'm so nervous, so I'm going to do my best to get through this um, as good as he did. Um, I will also like to thank everyone who had a part in this. It was totally worth staying up super late and getting up super early and even missing work a few times because of it. <laughs> so um, I'm really glad I did it despite that. Um, this is my first Big Brother game, so I wasn't quite sure like what my strategy was going to be. I've played Survivor games in the past, and I've always been a big social player, so I knew that I had to do that. And in this game, I learned really quickly that that had to be my, like, thing that I relied on. Because as I went on, I, I saw that I wasn't doing great at challenges. I was getting close, but never getting to the win. And I feel like um, I embraced that to the fact where I didn't need to win challenges to get as far as I did. Um, I had a rough start around round three. I almost went home, and I showed that um, as as a big a social threat that I was, where I, sh I probably should have or could have gone home in round three, I didn't, and I stayed, even being put up on the block several times after that and keeping myself in the game. Um, I felt like not winning challenges um, is something that several really big, really big big brother players have done in the game and actually won. They didn't rely on the challenges that they won, and they relied on their social game. And I feel like I had to embrace what I had, and that's what the good Lord gave me, and I used it. <laughs> um, 
yeah, so I just I my my plea is just to hopefully I can show you that I made the, the bonds that I made that have kept me in this game as long as they did. And um, I'm really, really glad I made it here next to Tom. And um, I'm really happy that I got to play with all of you guys. And I hope that I can sway you to vote for me. And that is all I will say. And Fiona, because she helped me a lot play this game as well. So <laughs> Thank you very much, Brandon. We'll now bring in our first jury member, and that is Simon. I guess I just go right into this. So my question is for Brandon or Hodges, whatever you want to go by. And that is, what individual moves did you make throughout the season that Tom didn't make for you and didn't include soul votes to evict? But obviously, those don't count for you since you didn't win anything. Right. Um, I think that I worked pretty hard at getting myself off the block in round three. I don't know how much Tom got involved in that. I'm sure he was around to help, but I feel like um, myself, along with Matthews, got myself off the block. I think the biggest move that I made, which I thought could have been a bigger move if, if it would have gone further, I used the veto on Matthews um, against kind of the will of the three, the other three that were there. Um, it was kind of, they, they wanted me to use, or expected me to use, to, to not use the veto so that Matthews could go home. Um, my plan was to save Matthews because I thought it would further my game. Matthews was doing really great at challenges up until that point, <laughs> so it didn't really help me after that, but Matthews was a really good ally of mine, and I felt like it would be in my best interest to use it despite the um, despite the, the difference of the, the three other gentlemen that I was on call with before that. So I didn't have huge opportunities to, to make a... Vi um, make nominations and all that, because I, I didn't win HOH. I didn't have, you know, the opportunity to, to in, influence the game in that way. But I, I won't say that Tom made every choice for me, because there was times that I actually went against Tom and voted for someone that he did not, or he didn't want out, and I voted to evict that person, so. Oh my god, that was so fun. <laughs> all right, the next person up is Matthew. This question is for Tom. Why did you feel so comfortable voting in the minority? I mean, I think that there's some disadvantages that come along to voting in the minority because you can potentially alienate yourself from other people. But I also think that it kind of shows people that you're willing to go against the grain when it matters. And um, I really wanted to, at least with the max vote, uh, show people that um, if you were an ally of mine, that I would go out on a limb for you. And at that uh, first week, Max was part of an alliance week one with me, Brennan, and Jamila. And so the fact that um, he was getting voted out kind of meant that uh, other people had decided to fold uh, with um, their votes. And I just didn't want to be that person in this game. I wanted to be somebody who uh, was seen as dependable and um, it was a risk, definitely. It could have backfired. Uh, it didn't end up backfiring because of the fact that I ended up being close with Mateus and he won the next HOH, but it was one that I was willing to take because I just wanted to you know, create that perception of myself and make sure that people saw the, way, the approach that I was going to take to the game. All right. That's, that's good. Thank you. All right. And the next person to join is Matthew. Hello, Habastic Bitches. It's me. This question is, Lord Good, how you make this final to Brandon? Who was the easiest to manipulate person in this game? Well, Adele Matthews. The, the easiest person for me to manipulate. Um, I tried to manipulate more than one person, and it did not work out. But the favor. easiest one know who you want to but, try. The easiest that I tried to manipulate in the beginning of the game was Simon. And <laughs> as, as, I mean, I have to be honest, and I hope that my honesty, like, doesn't come across as a bad thing, but, like, I tried, and it didn't work, and I quickly learned that Simon was playing a great game for himself, and it didn't, it didn't quite work for me. But if I had to say that, that's my first, yeah, that would be my first answer. 
Okay. Bye and good luck. Bye. All right. The next person to join the Google Hangout is third place Nick. So my question is for Tom. Um, Tom, you won a lot of competitions, but your moves were always very predictable. Why should the jury reward the most boring player? I mean, I guess it depends on what people value in a game, but I I don't think that there's necessarily... Like, I don't think that making a big move for the sake of making a big move is actually a good strategy. Um, I made... If my back was against a wall um, at a certain point in time, I was totally willing to make a big move, but... Um, basically, I was in a position uh, where I had a few close allies that all made it into the end game, and all of them were in a position where they wanted to at least take me to the final four and maybe to the final three. And sabotage to, to make a big move would probably have sabotaged my own game, and I probably wouldn't be sitting here today. So if that's something that people want to hold against me, I understand it, because it's not like the most entertaining, but... I do think my game would have been significantly worse if I tried to uh, just appease people um, who are viewing instead of trying to play the best game for myself. All right, the next person to ask a question is Jamila. <gasps> hey, Jamila. Hello, congrats to both of you. Now, my question is for Brandon. It came out in the game you were recording conversations even against Alliance members. Why did you do this, and whose recordings did you share? Be honest. The only recording that I shared was the recording um, that you, myself, and um, Nick, I believe, was there, and um, Kailas. The original reason why I was recording conversations was not for any showing of a game. I legitimately was doing it to give to Keith for the episodes, because none of us were... Um, going on to Google Hangouts to record them for him. So I was like, I will record these and just put them in my confessional. I have several that I have put into my confessionals, and I've never shown anyone, and they're just there for the episodes. The only time that I'd ever shared anything was the time that all the drama happened in the round that you and I were up on the block. And I didn't show anyone those, those conversations until I felt as though it was necessary when when I found out that there was other things being shared. So I I don't do that in games. I don't share conversations. I don't share screenshots. And so when I had heard that that had happened, I, I felt like it was only fair game for me to do the same thing. So it was never recorded for that purpose, and I, I, I don't play it that way. But I, I, le I legitimately recorded them for the episodes. Right. Thanks. Bye. All right. The next person to join this Google Hangout and ask a question is Kyle S. Hi. Hi. Sup, bitches. Hey, boo-boo. So um, this question's for Tom. And um, who was the most beneficial person in the original Pussycat, uh, Pussycat Doll Alliance we had and why? Well, I don't, I, I don't know if I would say, like, I would say it was you, but I would say it was, like, later on in the game after... Uh, that alliance had kind of crumbled, and then you and I kind of mended fences pretty quickly. And I think, honestly, um, you and I pretty much won most of the competitions in the latter half of the game. Um, if you had uh, wanted to take me out at the final five, I think you could have done it. Um, and the fact that you and I had a relationship at that point was a big part of the reason that I was able to make it through that round and... Uh, sit here today. Um, so I guess I would say, like, in terms of who was the biggest help for me getting here, I would say it's you. I don't know. Like, are you asking... Is that what you're asking, or do you mean in terms of who brought the most to the Alliance to help the Alliance? That's however you see it, boo-boo. <laughs> okay, well, I think... I would say it was you, because I think you had, like, the full control uh, to get rid of me at the Final Five. Um, you didn't take it, and that was the most beneficial to my game. Thanks, Gaga. Keep it cute, guys, and good luck. Bye. Alrighty, bye. Bye. All right, and before we wrap this up, you each will have the opportunity to do a closing statement, and we'll start with Tom. Um, well, uh, I feel like that 
jury questioning fleshed out a lot of what I had to say. Um, I know that the game that I played wasn't like this like bedazzling um, game that was full of big moves, but I do think that I consistently made the right choices in this game, and I really uh, played to the best of my abilities um, in terms of a the social game and maintaining open relationships as long as possible, and b the strategic game of uh, keeping my target as small as possible despite still winning things. Um, I really did give 100% of myself in this game, uh, and I don't know, maybe it does sound phony that I do legitimately like all the people that I played with, but that's not my experience in most games. Like, genuinely, in a lot of games, I find people that I butt heads with, and I don't know if it's because this game only had 12 people in it, but I didn't find that there was somebody who I, like, legitimately couldn't stand. Uh, that's just my experience this game. Um, I do think I played the game really well, and I honestly did the best that I could have done, and I hope that you guys can see that, but if you don't, uh, I understand, and uh, either way, I look forward to the reunion and having a few glasses of wine with you guys, so um, good luck with your decision, and I hope that you vote for me, because I do feel I played the best game. <laughs> uh, and now we will go with Brandon. Okay, um, I think I've said a lot of what I need to say. I, I played the best game I could. Um, I, I did the best to get where I could. I, I'm sure some of you are thinking that I was dragged here. Um, I don't feel that I was, and I feel like I played the best game I could with the situation that I was given. Um, I didn't win things as I would have liked to. I got really discouraged towards the end of the game, and I'm sure a lot of my DRs towards the end of the game are very depressing, just because I wanted to win so bad so that I could have a bigger impact on this game. Um, Unfortunately, that wasn't the case, and I just rolled the punches and did what I could to make it to the end. The fact that I got here because I was loyal with Tom and I made that close of a bond with someone, um, I feel says something about me. I made other close relationships in the game that I used to get me to different points in the game to keep me safe, to, to keep me from going. And I think those are really what I will use as my argument to win this game. I feel like that's what I had to, to do, and I did it, and um, yeah, I hope that you can vote for me. I hope that you, if you don't want to vote for me, I hope that you vote like Topaz did, <laughs> and vote for the wrong person, and then end up voting for me. But um, I, yeah, I had a great time playing with everyone, and I, yeah. Thanks All right, for... thank you so much. Uh, we're actually going to continue the broadcast. Tom and Brandon, you may go on mute now. We're going to bring the jury members in. Okay, I will call the jury members individually to cast their vote for a winner of Big Brother Basics Season 1. Um, you'll come up to the podium, place the key into the board, or type it to me via Skype and then go back to your seats and have a seat. And we'll start with Nick. Okay, I'm going to vote for the person who best embodies Big Brother Basics, emphasis on the basics. Thank you very much. Uh, the next person to cast their vote is Kyle S. Hey, guys. So um, I'm going to be voting for the person uh, that I think I'll have the hottest sex with outside of this house. Hmm. So excited just thinking about it right now. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, Kyle S. The next person to cast their vote is Matthias. I am voting for person that survived singing my Adele hello and enjoy it. Thank you very much, Adele. The next person to cast their vote, Simon. Um, I'm voting for the person whose neck hurts away from being dragged to the end. To the end. Thank you very much, Simon. Next person to cast their vote, Matthew. I'm voting for the person that I think treated me better while I was still in the game. Thank you very much. The next person to cast their vote is Kyle H. So there's a famous saying that defeat is not bitter unless you swallow it. So I will be voting for the person who helped me swallow my defeat 
and who allowed me to have the most emotional breakdown during an eviction ceremony in the history of Big Brother Basics. Thank you very much, Kyle H. And last, but certainly, certainly not least, Jamila. Hi. Um, congrats to both of you. I'm voting for the person who did the most in every aspect of the game, although in the most boring way possible, and the person who was the most honest. Thank you all. We will now go to the commercial break. Welcome back from commercial break. It is time for y'all to see my dress. Mm-hmm. It's about time. I've been wearing all this. So I'm going to get it on me. And we're finished with Big Brother Basics. But hold up. We must crown a winner first. Brandon, Tom, one of you is about to be revealed as the first ever winner of Big Brother Basics. I will pull the key. And remember, this person's name represents a vote to win. You'll need four in total to win. And we'll start with the first key. The first vote is from, going backwards, Jamila. Tom. That's one vote, Tom. The next vote from Kyle H. Tom. Two votes, Tom. Zero votes, Brandon. Next vote will be coming from Matthew. Tom. Three votes, Tom. No votes, Brandon. Next person for their vote is Simon. And the winner of Big Brother Basics Season 1, Tom. Congratulations, Tom. You have won unanimously, 7-0. to zero. You are the winner of Season 1 of Big Brother Basics. Congratulations. Thanks so much, guys. Yay, congrats. <laughs> yeah. congrats. Oh Good job, Brandon. I'm so excited. Tune in as we are going to be doing a reunion for anybody that is available to attend. Uh, so, yeah, stay basic. Okay. Have fun, and congratulations, Tom. 